Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you're watching this video, you got a Trash Panda subscription box. This is how to do the flying carp. So what do we need to make a flying carp? We have a cardboard tube, some glue, Q-tips, paper for eyes, and then all of this beautiful tissue paper. Um, and basically what we're gonna do is starting at the bottom of the cardboard tube, we're going to put a thin layer of glue and then we're gonna put these tissue paper circles. There are two ways you can do this. I'm gonna start doing it where they're just keeping their circle shape. The other way to do it, you can kind of see the blue in there that's folded in half. Totally your personal preference as to which one you wanna use. I'm gonna show you how to do both on this particular model. It's also up to you if you want to go all the way around in a single layer of one color or you want to do more like what I'm doing, which is hodgepodge all the colors. And then once you have your first layer on, we're just going to kind of overlap top and bottom the same way that we've been overlapping side to side. So we'll put on a little bit of glue and ooh, I'm going to use one of the silver ones. And I'm going to make sure that it overlaps the layer that I already did. Don't be afraid to put glue on top of, under, all over, um, because it's all gonna dry clear. So this is what it looks like if you use the circles whole. And now I'm gonna do a couple of layers with the folded in half ones. This takes that extra step of folding them in half. Um, it means you have to use a little more tissue paper uh, because it takes up a little less space. Sometimes you even get really cool colors when you've got a combination of one piece of light tissue paper over a piece of dark tissue paper. It's one of the things that makes tissue paper so cool. So fold it in half, add my glue, and then I'm just going to go ahead and set that right on top and tap it down, make sure it stays in place. All right, and we're just going to keep going around and around. Each layer is going to build on the one that's underneath it. So they'll be layering over each other left to right and layering over each other top to bottom as well. Um, and before you know it, you will have the whole tube done, which looks super cool. And I don't want that white line around the top. So in this part of it, we're going to take um, the circle pieces and we're going to layer them so they extend over the top, put some glue on the inside, and just fold over the lip. So I'm going to add some glue there, find whatever color I want. I'm going to use teal. Um, make sure it's overlapping on the fins the way I want, and then some glue inside of my cardboard tube and then I'm just going to fold over that top. That way we've got scales going the whole way up. Then we are ready for our next step which is going to be putting eyes on our fish. So we're going to take our white piece of cardboard and using any color marker, I'm going to start with black here, two circles with two smaller darkened circles on the inside and then a pair of scissors to cut those out. Kind of like googly eyes, just not quite as crazy. And those can be glued right on top of the fins. You just want to make sure that one is all the way on one side of the fish and one is all the way on the other side of the fish. Take some glue, put it on the back of that, and stick them right where I want them. All right, and then finishing touches. We're gonna take the long rectangular pieces. They are gonna go back on the bottom of that fish. I put glue all around the inside so I can kind of just lay these next to each other and tap them down on the inside. It's gonna give us a really cool tail like that. And then your silken cord and you should have half of a playing card with two pieces of washi tape on it in there as well. So just take that washi tape, put it over the cord, and then on the front side by the eyes, 
you're just going to tape those down to the inside of your fish. That way you've got something pretty to hang it with, um, whether you want to hang it in your room or on a doorknob, whatever you decide to do with it. Um, that is our flying carp.